you want to turn your quirky cat's expressions into cash? I'll show you how to earn passive income selling digital prints on Etsy. Because let's be real, your cat deserves passive income streams too. Get ideas using ChatGPT. So the first thing you have to do is actually to go on ChatGPT to get some great ideas of images, digital prints that you could create using an application that I will talk to you about right after this one. So if you don't know about ChatGPT, it's about time that you jump on it because it's an amazing tool to help you find ideas, brainstorm, get some great copy, get some great insights on so many things. So what you'll do is ask ChatGPT, give me a list of ideas for cute image only that I could sell on Etsy. And then, you know, there are a few things. So sure, here are some ideas for cute image only products that you could sell on Etsy. So you have plenty of them just there. Animal illustrations, food illustrations, floral illustrations, cartoon characters, zodiac signs, nature scenes, baby animals, inspirational quotes, holiday in season, personalized portraits, etc. So you're going to get like so many ideas from ChatGPT and that's kind of like really interesting to get. So you got to jump in there and find something. So let's say that you want uh, cute baby animals in cute and playful poses such as baby pandas or puppies or kittens or and ducklings. So let's say baby pandas. Okay, so let's stop there. Make images powered by AI using Midjourney. So first, to create your digital prints, you will need to go on midjourney.com and click on Get Started. Then you would want to go through the documentation and go on the subscription plans. Therefore, you will actually have the opportunity to join the basic plan for $10 a month. And that will actually give you the opportunity to be able to sell your images. And also, I will give you another way to check somewhere if it's okay for you to use the, these images and that they are unique and they belong to you. Okay, so you sign up for um, the basic plan minimum. If you want standard or pro, that's your thing, but you could start with the basic plan. I had started with the free trial, but what became a little bit annoying with the free trial is that after a few images that you're creating, uh, the app is telling you that there's too much of, a, um, of an activity on the platform and now they're accepting only like pay clients. So you might as well just go and pay for it right away. Okay. After you create your uh, mid journey account, so for you to create your image, what you would have to do is actually um, imagine and then the prompt. So we could we could ask it to create cute baby panda cartoon style sleeping in crib, for example. And then because you want it to be. Um, available for different formats then you write two little dashes and then ar and then two double dot three and then you wait and that can take actually a few minutes okay so you can click on them to see them bigger and you can open them in your browser to have a better idea and see these cute baby pandas oh my god they're so cute Put it like bigger like this oh my god I actually like the first and the second one. So to know exactly what numbers they are, so that's number one, number two, number three, number four. So U, one, two, three, four is to actually upscale. So it gives you a better image. Um, and V1, 2, 3, and 4 is to actually give you another version of the image. So for example, if I like a little less, number three, then I can ask for another version of the number three. And then because I love one and two so much, I'll just upscale. See? So number three, you have other, um, you know, other versions in here. And if there's any you like, you take them. If you don't, then you don't. Um, when you upscale, see, gives you like this, a nicer image. And then you can open in your browser. And then when you see it, if you like it, you could definitely save the image on your computer. Okay. So it gives you a nicer version than the first one that you've gotten, okay? So let's say that I really love this one, right? And I wanna save it, um, I open it in my browser and I save it on my computer. So baby panda one, okay? So it's recorded here. So what I wanna do now is actually verify if this cute baby panda 
is actually something that's unique to me. Create my check on Google. So you go on google.com and then you press on this little um, search by image, so the little camera in here, and then you drag your image in there. And what it will show you is actually all these other images of pandas. And you look if yours is actually one of them or not. So as you can see, there are many pandas, but none of them look exactly like yours. So basically you're free to go and you're free to be able to put these on um, Etsy and sell them, okay? When you're done putting them on Google, what you will want to do now is go on Canva. Okay. Use Canva to create your listing. If you don't have a pro account on Canva, please take it because it's life changing. What I love about Canva is the fact that it's so friendly, it's user friendly, and uh, you don't need to uh, to be uh, so much skilled like in tech to be able to do whatsoever in Canva. Okay. The nice thing about um, the fact that you want to sell digital prints, the great thing is that you could sell different sizes of posters. Okay. And uh, in fact, the first one that you would want to create, if you want to create a design, you go custom and then you want an eight by 10. So what you do is actually go on uploads and bring your baby panda in there. And what I love to do is in fact, either like check how it looks like, like this, or take the background off. So let's say if you want to edit the image, edit photo, and you take the background remover and you look at the image and you see if it looks great like that too. Actually, it doesn't. Um, I would go back and leave it like this. So I would sell it this way. I didn't do that. Yes, like this. When you share it, it's either you download by PNG, which is suggested, um, and you also download PDF print. Okay, because when people are going to buy this on Etsy, they're going to print it in order to create a poster. Okay, so you download these on your computer. Then, when you're done downloading this, it's time to resize. Okay, so you want to resize and you want to put in, um, I created this already. So you want it 5 by 7, 11 by 14, 16 by 20. Um, 22 by 32 and then 20 by 30 not 20 by 28 20 by 30 okay therefore I click here and when I do that it copies it and resizes it isn't that amazing so basically for each of them you could download on your computer either um, PNG and then also uh, PDF print so for each of these um, pictures or prints, you have six versions and you have two downloads. So when you're going to sell them, each people will be able to have access to 12 downloads, okay? So the best way for you to be able to um, group your downloads is to actually put them on your Google Drive, okay? So what you wanna do is actually create a new folder. So let's call it Baby Panda and you create it, okay? So basically you open it, you create another folder called PNG files, and then you create another one that you'll call uh, PDF files, okay? So what you'll do is actually drag all your PNG files in there and all your PDF files in there, okay? When you're done and you go to your drive and you're looking for that baby panda right here, then on the three little dots, you'll be able to get the link and in fact, make sure that people have access, anyone with the link, they have access, okay? Therefore, um, when you'll put that link to that specific PDF that we're going to do for the people who buy, then they'll have access to their downloads, okay? So when you go back to Canva and you create a PDF um, 8 by 10 with the baby panda again, okay? So you create that and you leave, let's say a little space here and you add your element, which is the text. So you can add download here, all right? So you underline it and you see here, you're able to put a link. So you go back to your drive and baby panda, you get the link, you 
copy the link and then you go back to the image here you copy it and that's it so therefore you could download this as in PDF print again and then that will be useful because when you'll be on your Etsy store you'll be able to have that image um, because you can't upload like all these images on Etsy it's not possible so what it will ask you is to give the link to the people who buy your prints so they have access to the downloads on your Google Drive so see how easy and simple it is to be able to have your own files and let me tell you something you know that could become very addictive especially if you're creative and you love to design stuff I'm not a graphic designer. I have no skills with like, you know, um, graphic design, but I just love creating stuff, especially like with the opportunity that these AI platforms give you, you can create everything. And you'll see by using Midjourney more and more, you'll become more and more, um, let's say, skilled into asking it the right things to get the best pictures possible. And now you're finally ready to upload everything on Etsy. So first, of course, you have to create your shop and then being able to put your listings on it. And that's what my next video is going to be about. Check it out.